know how it is in transitions when uh, you have all this this going on that we have going on with the new stadiums and new facilities and do we stay do we go you know the, all of that politics that's involved there on seeing what happens uh, certain things could be said or misconstrued I, I don't know that I'll see when the guys get back. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll wait till they get back. Yeah. What do you like about Marquise Brown and Herb Smith, and how do you see them fitting in? Yeah, um, I think Marquise gives you the that speed element on the outside uh, or inside, for that matter. He's played in all all the different spots. Um, I think he's a smart kid. He'll fit in. He'll complement with Rasheed and, and Trav. I think well. So and you know he's had some productive years, right? So I, I invite that in. Yeah, and, and yeah. Herb, I, I, well, I've got to see how he, how he does, but he he's um, I think his main thing is just staying healthy is what what's been his issue up to this point. Um, he looks like he's in great shape. He's in a good frame of mind, and uh, you know he's coming into a good strong group there that uh, I think he can add some. Something to that, yeah. Dude, Donald retiring, do you have a, a favorite story or memory from having a game plan against him? Yeah, well, that that 50, whatever, to 50 game that we had down there um, in L.A., that was, uh, um, he was a disruptor. We had a nice plan for him, and he dismantled that plan. So, um, he's a heck of a player. Great kid, too. I mean, I like the, like the person. What in particular stood out to you in preparing to play Brock Purdy and, and obviously in, in actually playing him in the Super Bowl? Yeah, um, a lot of respect for Brock. He he does a nice job. I don't really care where he got picked, right? <laughs> that doesn't matter to me. Um, he, he's just a good player. He sees the field. He's got good accuracy, great timing uh, with his receivers, and, you know, he's calm. He's he's. Got, he feels like you feel like he's got everything kind of under control there. Yeah. After the Super Bowl, some of your players shouted out Mike Frazier, who is um, your analytics. I don't know his exact title, but he does analytics for you um, with the over, overtime preparation for the new overtime rule. Um, can you tell us a little bit about how he prepared your team o over the last couple of years of that new rule to be ready for that moment? Yeah, he uh, he is our analytics guy. He he did a nice job of talking to the guys each week about that. Um, and along with some other things, but um, that was one of the things that he covered. Yeah, he does. A, he does a great job for us, all the way around. And he's he's spread a little bit thin, but he he goes 100 miles an hour and gets a lot of work uh, accomplished. Well, the players said that the training room is significantly understaffed, and one of the things they pointed out is they felt like they can't get preventative treatment. Um, were you aware of that concern of the players before the report card came out? Like, have you ever heard of there's not enough athletic trainers uh, with the Chiefs? Um, well, I think we, our numbers are okay there as far as that goes. We don't have the biggest training room, so we, we try to maximize it the best way we can. And, again, all those things I'll try to get to the, get to the bottom of once we get back together. Coach, how, how comfortable are you with the idea of the Chiefs are a dynasty and you're trying to – extend that dynasty does that make it harder to get guys motivated easier how does that work in your mind <clears throat> yeah i don't I'm, it's up to you guys to do the dynasty thing i'm <laughs> i'm back to training camp and the, kind of the meat and potatoes of the thing and so that's that's where i go I just make sure make sure the guys come back in shape and we're ready to roll but that's kind of what the part that we'll control there and Make sure the guys um, build a nice foundation up at, of a training camp. Is it important for them to realize it's a new year and what happened last year doesn't really? Yeah, yeah every year in the NFL is a new year. Right? Yeah. So every every team's a different team, and the guys know how I go with that. Um, don't get caught up in too much of the fluff, you know. So we just we just roll. Put another Tommy Bahama shirt on and let's go, man. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of Jordan Love? last season. Yeah, listen, I thought he did a great job. Um, again, looked like he had complete control of the offense. Um, was, was calm in really all the situations. I didn't study him quite as much after we played you uh, than, than before, but um, 
he, he sure looked like uh, he maintained that same poise all the way through. Is there something about Green Bay that allows them to do what they did with Rodgers and with this guy? Well, first of all, their scouting department's done a good job. Um, and then um, the, it's hard to have that many good ones come, come in a row like that, but they've, they've been able to do that in this crazy chaos of the National Football League of getting guys in and getting guys out. And they protect them, they let them grow, and then and then go. I, yeah, I definitely think there's something to it. I mean, I did a little bit with Donovan, just letting him grow a little bit, do it with Patrick. Not not five years, but, um, you know, with a year, year to learn. Did you, did you feel like you had a luxury to do that with Mahomes where you could wait a season? Is that one of the issues you think? No, it's Smith, so Alex was playing good football for us. So, um, that, that was an easy decision, yeah. Yeah. Spags. Did, did that did that have to a accelerate really quickly to make sure that you, you kept him there? Yeah, he was on the last year of his deal, and um, and, and so I, I think his dream was to become a head coach. It still is, and hopefully he has that opportunity next year to do that. So uh, it didn't work out that way. So we just jumped on it, you know, knowing that teams were were going to be coming after him. And they came pretty quick right after the Super Bowl. Yeah, there were a couple that came after. <laughs> Uh, potentially, yeah. I, you'd have to ask them, but um, I wasn't asking questions. I was just trying to get it done. <laughs>